Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video and today we are taking a look at the black and white roughed lemur, specifically separate enclosures for the black and white roughed lemur and no mixed walkthroughs and stuff like that. I decided to make a separate video for lemur walkthroughs to save you from having to see the same exhibit in every video about a lemur. Uh, so with that said, let's look at some black and white roughed stuff. And we are starting in Van Blankendaal Park. Not to be confused with Plankendaal. This is Blankendaal. Yes, very confusing. But uh, over here we've got a small indoor viewing of this, well, small indoor building. And yeah, this is a, a much smaller zoo. Its iconic feature is the windmill that we could just see in the reflection of that window. Uh, but, oh, nice voice crack. Uh, this is the enclosure. It's not fantastic. It's probably one of the smaller ones in this video. It does have a lot of verticality. Could use a bit more climbing, if you ask me. They do have a bunch of ropes and stuff, but could be more. Um, but fine, definitely not the worst thing out there. Um, it's it's a bit green, it's got some lushness around it, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see about this one. So let's move on to the next zoo, which is Parc Anemone de Brion. And uh, this is the worst part of Brion, um, but not the worst part of the worst part. Basically, this this entire row of primate and other uh, <laughs> other animal enclosures is, is my least favorite part of Brion. Um, and yeah, that was the indoor of the Black and White Ruff Lemur. Here is their outdoor, and you can start to imagine why this isn't my favorite part it this is not like this is, is similar to what we just saw right except that this is a bigger zoo this is an eaza zoo so you expect a bit more from it at least i do um and as i said this isn't the worst part of it because there's more of these enclosures as it goes on and some of the animals definitely should not be in an enclosure like that but that was it for Mule. Uh, let's move to Zudelil. And over here at Zudelil, we do have a beautiful enclosure. I really, really like the look of this one. Uh, we got some nice glass views and a, a mesh uh, or net netting type thing on top. And it's lush. It's got an interesting shape to it. It's not all rigid and and, and sharp edges. It's It's got a bit of character to it. Uh, I just think it's a really, really cool little enclosure right there. Uh, I think it is a mixed enclosure with ring tilt lemurs as well so whether it <laughs> should be in this video because i said i wouldn't do mix i mostly just meant the walkthroughs i, I want to avoid those big enclosures that i was otherwise going to put in every video uh, but yeah, over here we could see uh, also a bit of an indoor viewing with some nets some other bits of climbing just lots of things around here really quite nice. I'm actually a really, really big fan of this enclosure. I think I've made that clear. Um, so yeah, that was it for Zulil. And let's move on to another French zoo. I don't know why they're all grouped up, but we are at Zoo de Maubeuge, or Zoo Maubeuge. And we've got a very similar, <laughs> similar ID. A bit, bit more janky execution, a bit more straight, a bit smaller as well, actually a lot smaller. Uh, looking at it, uh, the backstage in the back, so you don't have uh, a view of that. And we have red rough lemurs. What? I thought this was a video about black and white rough lemurs. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, but the, the sign on this ex exhibit had a black and white rough lemur. So I, I felt like I should include it. Uh, but I guess they very recently swapped out the lemurs. Because this enclosure, also Zuma uh had a sign of a red rough lemur, but it had black and white rough lemurs inside as well as ring-tilt lemurs. So yeah, this is also a, a mixed enclosure. But yeah, that does show that uh, lemur enclosures are pretty interchangeable, right? You can build a black and white rough lemur enclosure and just chuck a red rough lemur in there. So take this inspiration video for both. But yeah, this is also a pretty cool looking um, mesh structure over here, keeping them in. Of course, there's other ways you can keep lemurs than these meshed over enclosures that this video has mostly been featuring um, and we'll see um, some of those other ways uh, it, both in this video but mostly in, in the upcoming ones. I guess because I'm not featuring the walkthrough enclosures we're mostly looking at smaller zoos because yeah, the larger zoos tend to make walkthroughs at least here in Europe uh, they're very common um, but yeah anyway this enclosure is pretty good as well. I like the, the greenery of it, the openness, and 
still with a variety of climbing structures throughout as well. There we can see the lemur. And now we are moving on to Mont Sauvage, uh, another French, well, it's a, it's a Belgian zoo, but it's in the French part of Belgium. Um, but yeah, we can see we have lemur islands, and that's another way uh, lemurs are often displayed. And over here they have lemur islands for a variety of lemurs. I think they have red roof lemurs as well as ring tilt lemurs, as well as the black and white roof lemur we can see over here. And that, my sir, is a mood, <laughs> just lying down like that. And we also got their backstages over here, and they are connected to the islands with these like bridges and meshed over bits. Um, but I think the shelters look pretty interesting. They, they look like the classic African uh, huts, but then very artificial. <laughs> anyway, over here at the Alveta Zoo Munster, uh, we have a lemur island as well. And this one looks pretty nice as well with all the rock and lushness. I love it when any primate enclosure has natural trees inside for them to climb in. And we can also see the lemurs back there. But um, what's very interesting about this enclosure is I thought it was a walkthrough enclosure. But uh, as we'll see momentarily, it actually isn't. There is a walkthrough enclosure over here for a primate species, uh, which the sign warns you about. Uh, but it is not the black and white ruffed lemur. It is actually a walkthrough enclosure of the colobus monkey or the mantled guzera or, or whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, um, not a lemur, uh, which, which surprised me. I actually had never seen any colobus monkey walkthroughs which I thought was pretty special. I thought it was really cool. And yeah, from here you can see that black and white rough lemur island over there, but it's most certainly not connected. So yeah, pretty interesting right there. And still just a really awesome exhibit. I really like the natural look of this island, but that's it for Avalta Zoo Münster. So let's move on to the next zoo, which is going to be Natur Zoo Rijne. And over here we've got this wooden uh, structure holding the netting and mesh stuff in place, making it look a bit more naturalistic. Look at how much climbing opportunities the lemurs have in here. That looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really big fan of this one. I love the lemur over there lying in his little hammock, uh, looking absolutely stunning. I absolutely loved the views I got of that little guy. Um, but there is also some indoor viewing, also a glass viewing over here, giving you a more unobstructed view of that enclosure and it looks so crazy absolutely love this uh, but yeah as you had inside uh, we also get some indoor viewing of all of their backstages which are also phenomenal i really like how much yeah just how much climbing opportunities they have in here it's just absolutely stuffed to the brim it's probably a pain for the keepers to have to maneuver around all of that but looking at it actually it's, it seems like they do have like pathways to walk um, the indoor enclosure also connected for the top via these um, these tunnels, I guess. Uh, and there is, what I think that's a crown lemur up there. Uh, I don't quite remember. Uh, and yeah, over here is even more backstage. Uh, I'm not sure which of this is for the black and white rough lemurs and which isn't. Uh, but I'm just showing a bunch of it. We'll cover this in a future lemur video as well. Because there is a walkthrough enclosure also. Except that it wasn't open, the walkthrough part of it wasn't open, but whatever. Here's more of that outdoor enclosure on the other side, more glass viewing and stuff. Um, but that is it for Natur Zoo Rijne, and we are moving on to the next zoo, which is Pakawi Park, which is my least favorite in this video, probably. Uh, actually, no, there's one that's worse, sadly. <laughs> but what I didn't like about this enclosure is look how dark it is. Like, there's some light coming in from one side, but overall, it's. These lemurs are in, this, in the dark, and it's this mesh enclosure, it looks kind of dirty. Uh, there's a little bit of climbing with these like fire hoses and stuff, but it's quite limited. Uh, it was just a really weird spot over here. On the other side is the caracal enclosure, which if you remember from the caracal video, was not that great either. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just not, not that great. Uh, what is pretty great though is over here at Plaswijk Park. Uh, we've got a beautiful lemur island once again. Also a cool thing in the back. There's like a playground thing where you can climb through. I did not get great footage of this one. I will apologize for that. I had to record on my phone. Um, and especially in the area, I, I did not get great footage of. But uh, it is a really lovely enclosure. Lots of naturalistic trees, climbing frames. Uh, just, just a beautiful lemur island. There's also little things over there for the ducks to get into. 
uh, when they get onto the island, which I thought was really, really cute. And yeah, there's a little bridge over here, which gets you to the backstage of the lemurs. And there's, of course, this plastic stuff around there so that they can climb <laughs> when they're coming from that bridge. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of hidden within the bamboo, so you don't see this little backstage holding that much. Uh, and it's also connected to the inner area via this little bridge thing. The inner area itself, uh, you can go inside that house and have some peeks into the inner area, which I thought was also pretty good looking, lots of climbing. Um, you get great views of the lemurs, especially when they're all nice and curious like that. Um, the backdrop is uh, very artificial, but still uh, a nice touch. And you can even take a staircase up to get a top view. And if the lemurs happen to be uh, climbing about over here, uh, you get some close views with them as well, which I thought was really, really fun. So next up, Zoo Veldhoven. Uh, the lemurs used to be in this little aviary type structure over here, this mesh uh, cage. But uh, last time I was at the zoo, they actually weren't in here anymore. Uh, it had just been replaced, uh, or uh, it, it looked like it had mainly been emptied out. I think there may be some birds in there now. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, there used to be three lemurs in here. Uh, it was really good. Lots of climbing. Really great. Uh, but as you can see, yeah not in there anymore and now last time i was there i found the lemurs over here in this little building um yeah well right here and uh, i hope this is a temporary thing it has to be right because this this isn't great this is <laughs> by far the worst thing they don't have an outdoor part uh, just this window that can be opened yeah wasn't a fan Anyway, last zoo that we're looking at, but definitely not the last enclosure, is Wonderwereld Ter Apel. Uh, this, uh, as you're coming off the parking lot, you come across this lemur habitat over here. There is some ring-tailed lemur signage next to it, but uh, yeah, there were definitely black and white rough lemurs in here. Uh, quite a bunch of them, actually. Uh, damn, that is actually a lot. <laughs> um, I would hope a slightly larger enclosure for this many lemurs, but it's certainly not the worst. Uh, they got the nice climbing opportunities. Uh, especially what's great about mesh enclosures in general is that the enclosure itself, the, the, the barriers, is also climbing for them. That's kind of the downside of having an island for your animals is that you're eliminating a lot of climbing opportunity. Um, but with these mesh enclosures, they can climb these, the, the walls, they can climb the ceiling. Um, so that's actually really, really cool. Anyway, second enclosure at Wonderwereld Ter Apple over here. And this is probably one of my favorite ones in the video, to be honest. Like, we've seen a lot of good ones, we've seen a lot of cool islands, but I just love the, the shape of this closure. It's so playful and interesting. Like, you just got kind of a, you know, it's almost like a kid's playground that I just threw a net over, um, which the, the lemurs can now climb around in. I, I just love it. I just love it so much. It's such a unique little cool, enclosure over here and we definitely deserve to take some looks at that there's also this little thing that you can climb into well i couldn't really <laughs> i tried but i could not really fit in there uh, a kid could though and that's really fun because you can really just climb climb along the lemurs and be in a similar climbing structure as them which is really cool then as you enter the zoo um we like this indoor part of the zoo which is not really a zoo it's more like a, a fantasy display like a very disney efteling like um but we do in here get a view of their indoor enclosure bit clinical not very uh, yeah zoo like not very representing their wild habitat or anything but it's nice that we get uh, a view of what their indoor looks like and, and we can see the lemurs even when they are inside that's always nice we can see all of their shenanigans i mean you already saw them at the start of the video but i recorded so much fun stuff over here the lemurs were just super playful and, and just fun to hang around with which was absolutely a blast so much fun uh, but that's actually not all for Wonderwereld Ter Apple, there is a third believe it or not third lemur enclosure black and white roughed um, perhaps it used to be a different species or just their lemurs bred so much they had to keep making enclosures for them. I don't know. But uh, as we come outside of the building again, uh, we got another enclosure over here, which I would say is quite nice. It's very tall, lots of climbing once again, relatively spacious. Yeah, I really can't complain. It's just a, a decent enclosure. Like, it's not 
great looking or anything, but welfare wise, it's it's perfectly fine. And you can also see over here a little double door thing to make sure that the keepers can get in without letting any lemurs out. And uh, nice to get a close look at that. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. Oh wait, no, indoor. Yeah, there's this rainforest, like greenhouse type area with indoor of the ring tilt lemurs. And behind the ring tilt lemurs is also the indoor of the black and white rock lemurs. We can see one uh, kind of at that door over there. It's moving around now. Uh, so yeah, they are also in this little greenhouse thing uh, with their backstage. But that is it for Wonderwereld their Apple. And that's also going to be it for the black and white roughed lemurs I have to show you today. There's one zoo that I wasn't able to show you, which was Duisburg. Uh, when I was there, the primate house was under construction. So uh, they should have black and white roughed lemurs, but I didn't see any because of that. Uh, so this is actually where I'm going to leave you today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next real life inspiration video or whatever comes first. See you. Bye bye.